The aim of this video is to show the practitioner how to take blood from a PICC line. The practitioner should make an assessment of the appropriateness of the intervention, the wellness of the patient, any potential contraindications showing on screen now, and the patient's nursing medical online care pathway notes should be reviewed. Preparing the environment, you should ensure you've got space, light, treatment trolley, nurse call button, hand washing facilities, personal protective equipment and cleaning wipes. Preparing the equipment using aseptic non-touch technique practice and washing hands as per hand washing policy. Introduce yourself to the patient and gain verbal consent. Preparing the patient is crucial. Do they have any concerns or questions? Have they got any allergies? Maintaining their privacy and dignity whilst achieving a comfortable position with the use of a pillar if necessary. Checking their ID bracelet or three-point verbal ID. Clean the trolley with a Clinel wipe and then apply apron and gloves. Clean one blue tray with a Clinel wipe or suitable alternatives in the community setting. Equipment should be prepared using the aseptic non-touch technique. 3 times 10 mils Luolox syringes, 1 blunt flannel needle, 2 Clinel device wipes, and 1 10 mil ampule of normal saline. Pre-fill one of the empty syringes with the normal saline using the blunt fill drawing up needle. You will also need a clinical laminate sheet. Remove your gloves, discard, gel and put on new gloves. Place the clinical laminate sheet between the line and the patient's arm. Taking the Clinel device wipe, using the whole of it, using the scrub the hub technique, clean the needle free valve for 30 seconds. Allowing to dry over some sterile gauze, protecting the valve and ports and the key parts. Attach an empty 10ml lower lock syringe. Apply suction to the line whilst unclamping and withdraw 5 to 10 mils of blood which can be discarded or if required for line sepsis, used for blood cultures. The line should be reclamped as you withdraw the last 1 to 2 mils. Using the second empty 10mm lure lock syringe attached to the needle free device, whilst applying positive pressure on the syringe, unclamp the line and withdraw your blood sample. Alternatively, you could use a star step connector to the valve and then use blood bottles to syringe off the blood. Whilst withdrawing the last 1 to 2 mils of blood, reclamp the line. Please note never pre vacuum a blood bottle for use on a CVAD as it will result in too high a suction on the line and cause the lumen to stick together. Taking the second Clinel wipe, re scrub the hub for 30 seconds and again allow to dry for 30 seconds. Taking the pre frill syringe of normal saline, applying pressure onto the syringe, unclamp the line and using the push pause pulsating technique, flush the line. Whilst the last 1 to 2 mils has been injected, reclamp the line. Whilst flushing, view the exit site for leaks and ask the patient how the flush feels. Recheck the clamp is securely closed and show the patient. Dispose of all waste, remove gloves and aprons and wash hands and then complete any paperwork necessary including the trust line care pathway. Mm -hmm.